profile as defeatist. He didn't see the point. Instead, he promoted the vengeance and offensive weapons up until the very end of the war, still dreaming of final victory. Now, over six decades after the first and most fatal missions of the Fritz X, the replicas of the Nazi bomb are ready for a bold test drop in a remote desert site. In a remote part of the Californian desert in a former military testing zone, a daring World War II experiment is about to begin. The test drop of two replica Nazi bombs onto a battleship outline marked as a target area in the sand. The outline is a copy of the shape of the Italian battleship Roma. The Roma and the cruiser USS Savannah were both hit in the Mediterranean in September 1943 by the radio-guided bomb Fritz X. Now, the drop experiment wants to solve the mystery. Did the Savannah survive because the Fritz bomb was technically imperfect? Or was the German bomb too powerful for its time, ripping all the way through the battleships before having time to fully detonate? To replicate the conditions of 1943, the outline in the desert must be over 250 meters long and over 30 meters wide. Yeah, some more, Pete. Hold on. Naval historian Steve Wiper confirms that the target is correct. So we're pretty close, right? Yeah, no, you've, you've got, you guys have a good layout. There's a couple minor adjustments, but other than that, it looks really good. Okay, well. Yeah, tire. The outline work on the ground is a race against time. The bomber pilots are already on their way from their Chino hangar in the B-25 for a first scouting mission. The battleship outline has to be ready so that the pilots can gather important targeting data for the bomb drop scheduled for the next day. The ground team finishes just in time. As the World War II bomber lands on the desert airfield, model maker Holger Bull arrives with the special payload of the Fritz X bomb replicas. The next day will be the moment of truth. D-Day for the Fritz X. Will the experiment be successful? Bomb model maker Holger Bull will be on board the bomber the next day, radio controlling the Fritz X. Um, Pilot Carl Scholl is giving some last-minute advice. Look at the trajectory mm -hmm. and the time that it was mm -hmm. in the air. Mm -hmm. See if our, our drop point is yeah. correct. Yeah. 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 During their scouting mission over the target area, Pilot Tony Ritzman calculated some data on the probable acceleration of the Fritz X for the test drop. The bomb is going to travel about 2,300 feet before it impacts. And it's going to take about 12 and a half seconds from the time of release until it actually impacts. And when it hits the ground, it's gonna be going about 290 miles an hour. But spotting the replicated battleship outline will be a challenge for the bomber pilots. I was able to spot the outline of the Roma shape from a good distance, but because of the altitude we're dropping from, that disappears under the nose long before we reach the release point. So we picked a couple of landmarks way far out in the distance that will allow us to hold a constant heading and fly directly over the Roma shape. It's the day of truth for the Fritz X experiment. Every one of the team works on their final preparations. For safety reasons, the replica's warhead is not packed with explosives. Oh, you had it. What what'd you do? Reposition. To better monitor the bomb's trajectory during the drop, Steve Wiper devises a special camera contraption. To protect the camera from damage, it will be pulled away from the bomb by a parachute system before impact. So we have a trigger that's released. That catches the wind 
or the air uh, slipstream. And then that will pull the drogue parachute, which will in turn pull the main parachute, which will in turn yank the entire camera module off the back of the Fritz X, hopefully just before it hits the ground. Now the bomb and the bomber are ready for takeoff, ready for the first test drop of their Fritz X bomb on American soil. Pilots Tony Ritzman and Carl Scholl prepare for the drop of the Nazi replica bomb Fritz X from their World War II bomber. A last radio check with Steve Wiper, who will be leading the ground team in the target area. Before takeoff, Tony Ritzman holds a final briefing on worst case scenarios. The moment of truth is about to arrive, so let's talk about what we're going to do here. We're going to climb out, do a 270 degree climbing right hand turn, go about a mile to the west. First pass is going to be a dummy pass, just so that everybody is comfortable with the drop line, the run in, your position. When you're going to be dropping, so I'm going to hear that on the radio. Do you have a signal you want to give me? Carl is going to start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, release. At that point, it's all yours. Yeah, I realized that. All right, let's talk about what can happen that can go bad. If the Fritz X really starts shedding parts, you know, the tail's vibrating or something really, really unsafe, I'm gonna go out here and punch it off, okay? If we do the release and it doesn't release, I'm going to come right back here and land and hope it doesn't disengage when we touch down. It'll be the smoothest landing of my life. All right? If we have an engine failure, we're going to come back and land here. Don't panic. We've done this before. We can land on one engine. Other than that, um, we'll come back and then we'll do number two. Okay. Any questions? Pilot Carl Scholl believes in a good omen for this day. All the times that we've been doing uh, different drops, we've never had an emergency as such. Actually, I bet $100 that we will hit the ship. As the pilots prepare for takeoff, the ground team is heading for the battleship target outline in the desert. When I see you in place, we'll start rolling out. The B-25 is not identical, but closely resembles the German planes that dropped the Fritz X during the war. The bombardier had to crouch in a glass compartment at the nose of the plane. Today, this will be the job of bomb model maker Holger Bull. It's his first ride in an American bomber. Okay, Holger in the nose. Uh, we're rolling in. I'm, I'm ready. The Fritz X replica first seems to be stable in the air pressure. But then something goes wrong. Now uh, you just lost some parts, so you got a streamer coming out the back end of the thing past the tail of the airplane right now. Is this a disaster scenario coming true? Is the replica bomb disintegrating from the pressure of the airstream? Wow, I see a parachute with the cameras. All clear. The bomb body itself is still intact. It was the parachute of the camera contraption, devised to monitor the bomb, that broke loose too soon. Okay, so you're saying the parachute released, but the black camera body is still attached. It's like the black camera body is still attached. Yeah, Dave, you copy that. The parachute mechanism fell off the back on the takeoff roll. Yeah, I copy that. Apologies. Okay, you should have the target inside, Holger. We're turning inbound now. I will do my best to get it into the target. When that thing drops, do not take your eyes off the Fritz X. Forget about the bomber, watch the Fritz X, because we are definitely in a danger zone here. The countdown starting now. Five, four, three, two, 
There it goes. Look at it. Beautiful. Look at that thing go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa. Look at that thing go. Whoa. Look at that thing go. Wow. 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 That was a, that was perfect. Okay, this is ground crew. Fritz X dropped beautifully. It was perfectly controlled. Went into the ground somewhere about 50 to 100 feet short of the stern. Over. Roger, we have that. Very good. But it turns out the first replica missed the target by 90 meters. Still, the penetration and destructive power of Hitler's smart bomb is revealed. And it, like you said, it was cooking. Where's the front end? It's buried way down in here. The bomb's incredible acceleration almost smashed it into pieces when it hit solid ground. Look at that. I thought it the saw edge of it, when it first started. Yeah, it crashed like on a real Off crash of an airplane with high one. speed. Yeah, where is the other one? So no, 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 this no, was a thing which well, was straight and fine. Now it's it, it's sharp like a rotten.